There is turmoil for Democrats here in New Hampshire as well. The race for Speaker of the House was expected to pull the Band-Aid off some deep Republican wounds. But now the upcoming vote has suddenly exposed a rift on the other side of the aisle. Last week, Hampton State Rep Rennie Cushing fired a progressive shot across the establishment bow of the New Hampshire Democratic Party. In a letter to House Democratic leader Steve Shirtliff, he questioned why Shirtliff is being named the party's nominee for speaker without a caucus vote, calling the move, quote, a misplaced sense of entitlement. Democrats deserve to have an election for our nominee for speaker. It's been part of the tradition. Uh, you know, the Republicans are having a robust discussion about the future of their caucus, and I think Democrats need to do the same. Representative Shirtliff says that debate already happened last year when the caucus voted to make him minority leader. Nothing has changed on our side, and so I am still willing to run as Speaker of the House, so there's no need to have an election. Now, if Representative Cushing wants to have his play, name placed in nomination on the floor, he can do that. This State House dust up comes as Democrats nationwide continue to fight over the 2016 primary process and the direction of the party. Definitely there's tension going on between, you know, the progressives and those who are more moderate. It's an age-old fight, but we're seeing, you know, more of it. Representative Cushing is on the Bernie Sanders New Hampshire Steering Committee that remains active almost two years now after the Vermont Senator's landslide primary win here. But he says his challenge of Representative Shirtliff should not be viewed in that context. I think it has nothing to do with Bernie versus establishment. I think it has to do with having, you know, a caucus that's transparent, that's accountable, and that's responsible to its members. In the end, this is just a formality for the Democrats, as the House Republican majority will be electing the next speaker. The vote is scheduled for the end of this month.